In the previous video, I asked you guys how many times does a MotoGP rider shift gears in a single race? But unfortunately, no one got the answer to that. So here's your answer. A MotoGP rider shifts gears almost 500 times in a single race. Yes, that's huge. And they do that easily with the help of seamless gearbox. And today I will explain you about seamless gearbox. Ciao guys, welcome to me and Motorsports. My name is Nitish Tidorkar and in this video playlist of all about MotoGP, today we will discuss what is seamless gearbox and how is it more efficient than quick shifter. So today's video or this video was requested by one of our friend Abhishek BS who asked us to make a video on seamless gearbox long time ago. I'm so sorry it took so long for me to make this video. I'm so sorry Abhishek but here's your video and i hope you like it okay before you continue watching this video i want you guys to watch my previous videos in which i've explained the basic technicalities of gear shifting in motorbikes and what is a quick shifter so that it will be easy for you to understand what we are talking now because i'll be referring what i've said in that video so you need to watch those videos first and the link will be up here or i'll just add the links in the description so watch those videos first and then you can come back In the previous video, I have told you drawbacks of regular shifters used in normal motorbikes and advantages of quick shifter. Now in this video, I will tell you drawbacks of quick shifter. In motorsports, where every thousandth of second matters, even quick shifter lost its race to seamless transmission. In a quick shifter or with the help of quick shifter, it takes 0.1 second to shift a gearbox. Whereas with the help of seamless transmission, it takes 0.01 second to shift a gear. It's that fast and that's the reason why every MotoGP bike is installed with a seamless gear transmission. So I'll tell you how it works and its advantages but before that as we know quick shifter is fast but during every shift there is it like when uh, the power is cut on and off for a few milliseconds it creates a phenomenon called shift shock. Now shift shock is something shift shock is basically a disturbance or a vibration created due to torque in the gearbox. And that vibration or the disturbance is passed from the drive chain to the rear wheel and when it is passed from drive chain to rear wheel it also disturbs the rear suspension the rear shock ups as we say basically most of us know in india so that disturbance can affect a lot when it's a powerful bike like bikes like moto gp so it might pop a wheelie on a straight when you shift a gear or the rear might slide out or you can like it basically just affects the balance or the momentum of a MotoGP racer. And that's where seamless gear transmission has an edge over quick shifter. It does not get in, go into neutral while disengaging from first gear and engaging into second gear. What actually happens is when we shift a gear, it is still driven from the previous gear. And when it is engaging with the next gear, it is getting it is still basically still getting power, still getting power from the previous gear and it just disengages from the previous gear before it engages to the uh, next gear so, just, so the gearbox doesn't get locked up from a dual engagement all this happens within 0.01 seconds so you see it is much much more quicker than quick shifter that's why all MotoGP bikes are installed with seamless gear transmission and if you're wondering uh, like if we can install seamless gear transmission in our regular bikes then I guess you can but no, don't even think about it. Firstly, it's super expensive. It's so expensive that I don't even know how much it costs, but definitely it's gonna cost a huge amount. And secondly, there's no point in doing that because we can't drive that fast. Actually, we can, but we should not. So yeah, there's no, it doesn't make sense in, uh, installing a seamless gear transmission in our regular bikes. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video and this series, if we can call it, series of gearbox or gear transmission. I haven't talked much about gear, seamless gear transmission because see, this seamless gear transmission is a concept which is the improvisation or modification of what is a gearbox and a gear shifting pattern basically. And I have already explained gear shifting method and gear shifting patterns in my previous videos. So I searched but I couldn't found much more to talk about seamless gearbox. This is all I know. So I've shared whatever I know with you guys and I hope you guys 
like this video i hope you understood the working and the advantage of seamless gearbox or quick shifter and if there's anything else you want to know about please do mention about that in the comment section if you have any doubts mention that in the comment section and i'll try to clear all of your doubts and make a video if there's a good topic or good question you have and well that's it this is all from my side thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video learned something new and if you did please do like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram to stay updated with more such interesting content till then write fast but write responsibly so it's time to announce the winners of the small question i or the quiz competition we had i asked in the previous video and i've answered to that question at the beginning beginning of this video which was about the five and times do motor gp riders shift a gear in the sing, in a single race and we had few participants like we had few comments and i really want to thank to all of those who have commented and participated in this and we also have two winners uh, who had answered quite close like moril rutuja is one winner who had answered uh, 550 to 650 uh, gear shifts in a single race and also sharvari although her range is quite high it's she uh, answered 500 to 800 but yeah we will consider that as well so congratulations to both of you you will be getting your gifts soon and thank you so much for commenting and interacting with my videos i hope you guys enjoying <laughs> enjoy it and you're learning something new and for more such videos and quizzes and prizes stay tuned and subscribe to my youtube channel so anyway thank you